Hello, my name is Roy Tomalina with BMEX. During this short video, I'll cover the communicator mode of the MC6. The MC6 can contain a heart communicator, a foundation field bus communicator, and a profibus communicator. One or all three, you pick. With heart, it lets us know where to connect. So we'll hook up the output of the device right here, which is these two. And this is also where the loop power supply comes from. So you decide whether you're using external power, maybe powered up by the process, or you want the calibrator to provide power for that. Maybe you want a different language. So instead of English, maybe you want to have one of the other options available. Let me back up. Also, foundation field bus, it's the same thing. The same two connections. You decide whether or not you have loop power. Now, one thing I didn't mention with Hart is that we build in the 250 ohm resistor for that communication. In foundation field bus, it's a 50 ohm communicator. So by using supply on, we automatically put that in. If we go back to Profibus, same thing. Profibus also uses a 50 ohm resistance. Supply on, same two connections. Now let's make a connection. If we connect heart, let's hook up this pressure transmitter. And we actually have a heart transmitter that's pressure. We have a Profibus temperature transmitter. And we also have a foundation field bus temperature transmitter. Now I'm new with this. I don't know where to hook up. I look, here's where I connect. And press check. The communicator has started. It's found our device, which is actually called Test PT. This happens to be a Rosemont 3051C. We just press on it to enter the DD structure. What you're seeing is a representation of that DD structure. If we hit online, we can go down to the next level. Anytime you have the yellow with the little corner flap that's up, that means that there's another level underneath it. Green means that those are measurable variables. You can see our LRV and URV right here. So you can make changes. We can change the tag name. We can change how it's ranged. This has a range right now of zero to six bar. We could change that value or we could change the units. You know what, let's make this zero to eight bar. Now it's changed to blue, that means that there is a change ready to be written. So if I hit check, write changes to the device, yes. So now we're communicating back to the device, we're changing it physically to a zero to eight bar transmitter. And that's complete. You have access through setup to the other functions as well. On these type of devices, calibration, trimming functions tend to be under Diag service. And then calibration. You have an option here for sensor trim and trimming the analog output. One thing that is easy to do is to find all the measurable variables with one option. Let me press the menu button. No matter where you are, you can press show, measurable variables. It'll bring up the measurable variables for this device. If we wanted to look at pressure. We've selected our output for pressure. Now let's manipulate it. I have a pressure pump with three connectors and a T-hose in the middle. So I've got a connection on my pressure pump. We have one connection for the pressure transmitter and the third leg will put on the pressure port on the calibrator. So here's our output on the bottom. We can see a, a difference happening with our pressure. If we want to, we can select the quantity up here on the top and have the calibrator actually measure as well. So we'll pick pressure. Now we have a difference here. The bottom one, I'm sitting at one bar, but on the top I've got it registering in PSI. Let me just change this. So 
So now we're measuring in the top screen and we're getting the actual output from the transmitter in the bottom window. Let's go back to communicator mode. Now from here, we're still looking at the measurable variables. If we wanted to, we could go to show all so that we're looking at our standard structure again. But also while we're in here, we can save the configuration in here into its own file. That's through the menu button as well. Configuration and save as. So this will pull all of the heart information into a file which we can then name. All right, that's done. Test PT will accept that as our name. Now that captures every variable inside the transmitter at its current state. You can upload this onto your computer for analysis as well or for documentation. So let's exit the heart communicator mode. Now we're back to where we started. If you would like information on how to do a trim of a heart instrument, check out our other videos. We do have some dedicated just to doing trimming functions of both pressure and temperature transmitters. We will continue on, however. We do have Foundation Field Bus and Profi Bus to look at. Let me make a few connections. Let's connect the Foundation Field Bus device to the communicator. We have an RTD sensor connected to this Foundation Field Bus temperature transmitter. Foundation Field Bus, now we follow the wiring diagram. If we were not going to provide loop power, we'd pick the top one, but we do want loop power as well as the 50 ohm resistor that's built in. It's found our tag, TMT162. When we select it, it will show you the file structure of the DD or the device descriptor. One thing to note that depending if you want to rearrange the transmitter, change different values, do trimming functions, the names of each of the categories will vary based on manufacturer. I'm looking right now in the show measurable variables. If I wanted to see everything, I could just go to show all, and this is the standard structure that you would see. Let me go back to showing the measurable variables. And if I look at the primary value, this is actually the temperature output of this RTD probe that we're seeing now. So I can manipulate this I'm not going for a huge differential in temperature, but I just want you to see that we're seeing a live snapshot of the output of this Foundation Field Bus transmitter. If you are interested in knowing how to do a trim on a Foundation Field Bus transmitter, check out our other videos. We do go into that in detail. As far as for our next steps, let's look at Profibus. I'm exiting out of the communicator at this point, so let me make a few more connection changes and I'll get our Profibus transmitter hooked up. Next, let's hook up Profibus. So if we don't remember where to hook up, we just follow the visual aid. If we don't need the calibrator to provide loop power, then we pick the top one, supply off, but we do want loop power. I'll just hit the check which also includes the 50 ohm resistance. In this case, I'll go ahead and hook up the input side to our RTD. We found the device. The tag name, simply select it. Now it will read in those values. All the different blocks. Let's take a look at transducer block. We have our tag. We have other information. There's 11 pages that you can go through. Remember, green is a measurable variable. Sensor limits, wire check. So you get the idea. And to go back up a level, we just hit this folder with a green arrow. That takes you up to the next level. Now, if we wanted to, we could hit the menu button and do show measurable variables and that shows you your anything that can be measured. Let's go to our primary. Here's our actual output. Let's get rid of some of these decimals. 
So this is our output. We're feeding it zero degrees Celsius. If we change this, we see a direct relationship with our output of the transmitter. So we are communicating with this via Profibus. If you would like more information on how to calibrate a Profibus transmitter, check out some of our other videos. We have detailed instructions in there. So you've seen communicator mode on the MC6 with Hart, Foundation Field Bus, and Profibus. If you have more questions on the MC6, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.